Hey there, Libra. This is Jamie. Welcome to Solvine Guidance. We're checking in with your energies for the week and seeing what is coming up or potentially supporting you at this moment and what you need to know. So let's check in, Libra, for you. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, g'day. It's good to connect with you again. We do Zodiacs weekly for all signs and Pisces daily. As always, hope you are doing well, friends. And feel welcome to check the links below if you want to know more about the decks we use, the channel, ways we can support your spiritual journey, or even if you want to make contact. Okay, Libra. I'm liking this. I feel like you're, you're changing something up here. You've got adjacent possibilities, the second chakra, which is Archangel Ariel, and then a man holding a heart. I feel like you're really starting to change the way that you, you may be doing things is what I feel that um, may, may be occurring for you. Something that you've been wanting to achieve, something that you've been wanting, it's like you recognize as part of this, whether you want to call it a process or this journey, you recognize whatever you were doing just needed some form of tweaking or needs changing. And maybe too, even something showed up in a way that you totally unexpected. So that's kind of what I'm getting initially here from this adjacent possibilities, but it may also be like a little signal for you to something needs to be changed up. Um, Again, it could be your approach towards something. If you're finding resistance or something is not in flow or something isn't working, uh, spirit, you know, could be just letting you know, hey, try things a different way. For some of you who've already, you know, been through this little bit of experience, because this is kind of like past energy or energy you may be, you know, shifting into as you're moving forward. So everyone can be at different times on their journey, but this is a general read. So take what resonates. And if it doesn't check out your other Zodiac signs for your sun, moon and rising energies, even Venus and North Node, etc., subject to where it is in your chart. But then you've got the second chakra. So I feel like whatever it is that you needed to figure out, you need an answer on, it's coming because something new, something creative is birthing here for you. And then what I love in addition to that is this man holding a heart. So this is quite like masculine energy that's showing up here. And I feel like something or someone that's very connected to to some form of journey or something that they want to accomplish. This could also be someone coming on in to, I'm getting the word reward or recognition for something that you are doing, something that you've created or something you, you in terms of putting yourself out there with this second chakra energy. Um, you might even find that there's some form of love offer or connection or someone wants to get closer to you here, Libra, uh, in terms of uh, this this energy or something that you are doing and creating. So let's dive a little bit deeper and see what our spirit has for you, loves. It's really interesting because I'm just, I'm feeling like something's just going to be coming out randomly out of the blue is what I'm feeling. I think for some of you, you may not even know what, what is coming up. I just feel like, yeah, there's something unexpected here. Ace of voices. Okay. You've got the ace of voices, the devil here. That card just totally flew across the other side. Just give me one second, guys. Alrighty, you've got the four of emotions and let's get one more for this and then we'll dive a bit deeper. And now you've got the eight of emotions. So interesting here, Libra. With the ace of voices and the devil, Like there's something here that's intriguing you or getting your interest, something that you're inquiring about, some form of 
like download spark of wisdom of some kind is what I'm getting. And it's really interesting. I don't know why I'm clicking my fingers. Like it's really interesting that I seem to be doing that. Um, I don't know why I don't normally click my fingers when I'm doing a reading guys. Um, so interesting. So to me, that's like something's just coming in in a flash is what I feel is happening. Okay. Um, cause yeah, I find that quite odd that I am doing that. I don't normally click. All right. So it could also be spirit saying like, hurry up because sometimes things are about, you know, timing. And yeah, I'm just, I'm really getting here that something is going to show up for you, but I think whatever's going to show up, you're questioning the legitimacy of it. I feel because if it's come out of the blue, something unexpected, I think you're going to question the legitimacy. This could be a person, um, a situation, an offer, an opportunity, but it's something that you are doing, something that you're creating and some form of opportunity that's arriving here. And this could just be because of some past experiences, your radar is going off, um, or you're noticing something or someone and really trying to assess perhaps behaviors or approach to something is what I'm feeling. You could even be questioning if something or someone's coming on in is even emotionally available, if this is related to love, but you're also trying to connect in too, if this really excites you. So this could be either or, because if this is related to work, a project, um, or your career, there's some aspect here. You don't want to get stuck in a situation that just isn't right for you. But if you've got this idea, you've got this creativity coming in, you're trying to be logical in the approach or whatever it is that you're doing and you really want to go for it. But at the same time, maybe there's just someone charming or trying to charm you and you're trying to work out, is this legitimate or is this like someone, you know, playing me, trying to pull the wool over my eyes kind of thing. Um, yeah. And like I said, if this is a relationship, you are potentially questioning if someone is even emotionally available, if they're just more a show pony, like a show off kind of thing is kind of the energy I'm getting. It's so interesting, but there's something here that you are going to start changing. You're going to change direction in what you're doing. And I think this could be part of the adjacent possibilities energy showing up. When I look at the two here, like the beginning to the end, it's like, if something doesn't feel right, Libra, this is really interesting. This is coming through. If something doesn't feel right, spirit is saying there's going to be other possibilities. It just doesn't have to be exactly how you think it's going to be. And if you're getting a little bit of red flags here from some form of connection or opportunity, just pay attention to that because you might find like that it's actually, there's nothing really there you know, in a sense of you're not going to get what you need out of that situation. Okay. Now we're going to dive a bit deeper because we want to know what I do want to know what this eight of emotions is. Okay. Kind of going a bit backwards here guys, but we've got the three of inspiration. Yeah. So I think what, whatever's happening along this path and journey, you're getting clarity. You're really connecting in within here. You're very logical Libra. And at the same time, you're very on truth on point. And when you're paying attention, you're paying attention and nothing's going to like kind of fly by you. And I think, you know, you've really tapped in here going, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm really liking what, what this is or who this is or what this offer is. Something just doesn't feel quite right. So let's have a look a little bit deeper on what this Ace of Voices energy is. Thank you, spirit. Okay, you've got the five of voices. Let's have a look at the devil. And again, we'll dive a bit deeper, guys, on this. What's this devil energy? And then the four of emotions. Thank you. Okay, guys. going to fix up the camera a tad. Okay. Awesome. 
All right, so what I'm getting here, whatever this idea or new offer or opportunity or this new beginning coming on in, I think you're even questioning, is this enough for what it is that you want to getting you to this nine of emotions, to this wish fulfillment? I feel like someone's like maybe dangling a carrot in some regard, and this could be man holding a heart. Um, and again, why you're probably seeing this devil energy showing up, Libra. It's just like... Is what you are seeing real? Is the way things are being communicated honest? Is just what I'm getting here. And I feel like someone's trying to make something really good, but they haven't squeezed the olive out of the um the olive oil out of the olives yet. So I just I just feel like there's some form of someone reaching out here, but it's like show me the baby kind of thing, if that makes sense. And it's really interesting that we've got the second chakra because that's about birth. That's about creation. So yeah, there's something here that you're questioning because this devil energy, you're like, is this actually going to get me to this nine of emotions? Because you're not going to know it's the devil energy, right? But you're getting some signs or something that's just making you question. So if something is making, if you've got more questions than you've got answers, be aware of that. Okay. But whatever this four of emotions is, it could be this offer that comes on in. You're just, you're not sure. You're not feeling full. You're not feeling excited about it. And I think you can already see this here. Okay. So I feel like you're going to hold out or hold, hold on. Like it's just not capturing your attention enough, whether it's a person or a career or offer or opportunity. And you've got you, like, you've got a vision here and you've got hope of, something is better, something better, you know, is going to arrive. It's like you have this knowing, you have this trust. But I think there's a little bit of fear that you don't want to get it wrong. You know, you don't want to regret it or anything like that. But can you regret something that you just don't feel right about? You know what I mean? Because what, what I'm seeing here is Libra is you're moving away from this. You're going in another direction. This just doesn't feel right for you. Uh, again, you're going to know the truth in this, but you're the one who has to assess it and tap into your own energy and your feeling in regards to this situation. Because what I think ends up happening is you get some further clarity. It's like you get a, a download, a further download, further information that's going to help you on this path and journey. And with this three of inspiration, it's like, I even feel this could be a plan that you had at some other point that maybe you haven't really put it into effect yet that you're going to. It's like you're going to step in and and apply something to start moving things forward because you know that by staying here or staying still, it's not going to give you or create the action, activity or response that you need. So you, for you, you need to keep going and that's how you're feeling in regards to this situation, okay? So let's get some final guidance for you here, Libra, on what you need to know regarding this situation. Yeah, I'm just getting again, look out for the red flags, okay? That's what I'm getting here, guys. So we've got confidence is your key to success. So that's really good. And I think too, when you get someone who's a bit dodgy, who's not like, who sometimes thinks, well, you might be new at this or this, you don't, it's like they're underestimating you in some way. I feel like there's some form of underestimation um, towards you. And I think a key thing for you is going to be like really stepping up. And like, like I said, you know, when someone's like playing games, you know, when someone might be pulling the wool over your eyes kind of thing. And I feel like spirit's saying, just pay attention to this and make sure that as part of this approach and process that you're very uh, strong in what it is that you want to receive in terms of um, like manifest come in. Like sometimes it's like that one sign that you need that confirms something is right for you. And sometimes you can just put that in motion. It's kind of like a, you anchor it and our spirit, like, if this is right for me, show me this, you know, something of that nature. Um, you know, it could be an owl, it could be a snowflake, it could be a certain color plant. I don't know, like, it's all going to be different for you. But I feel like to get the confirmation, sometimes we can, you know, do that as part of the process. So let's have a look at what the biggest challenge is going to be that you need to be aware of here. What's the biggest challenge? 
What's the biggest challenge for Libra? Okay. Okay. So you're getting here. What do you need to release as your challenge? So when we look, this is like a waning moon. So this is just before the new moon. So that's really interesting. What do you need to release? And then here you've got a new moon. So it might be to release any doubts that you do have Libra in your own ability. Um, you know, again, it could be that maybe there is a, you're lacking a little bit of confidence or concern. Can you pull this off? Can you make this happen? Are you enough? Like something of that nature, but on the other side, like your power is also your confidence. So being able to acknowledge that and release it and keep, you know, having a strong belief system within yourself is really going to support you as part of this chapter and journey. So let's see if there's anything else you need to know that may be hidden um, or for you to be aware of uh, as part of this experience for your Libra. Let's have a look. Thank you, spirit. What did Libra need to know? So you've got you and your loved ones are safe. Yeah, I think if there's some concern um, of making a decision or thinking that I really need this opportunity or I really, you know, I really want to meet someone, whatever this is, or I want to deepen a connection, um, I want to start this business. Spirit's just letting you know that trusting in your instincts, trusting in your inner knowing is what's going to guide you and you are supported either which way here, Pisces, um, Libra, sorry. Um, so just be mindful of that when you're connecting in, when you're making decisions, don't do, make a decision out of lack, make a decision knowing that you're always going to be provided for, if that makes sense here, Libra. So I'm going to leave that with you, D1s. If you feel connected, appreciate a like and subscribe to the channel. It helps support as we are growing and we're excited to connect with you again soon. Don't forget to check out your other zodiac signs if this story doesn't fully resonate or maybe you just need a little bit more to the story uh, and you might find that, yeah, your other signs uh, show up for you as well. We'll catch you later, Libra. Bye now.